and with the freeze warning in effect, again, people across the region are covering sensitive plants and even pulling some of them in. And some people don't have a place to stay warm tonight either. KCRA 3's Kevin Oliver is live in Sacramento with that part of our team coverage tonight. Kevin? Well, Brian and Edie, it can be downright dangerous to be out in the cold all night on a night like tonight. Usually here along the waterfront, there are homeless people sleeping on the benches, but not tonight. A lot of the shelters are at their limits. And here in Sacramento County, a program is in effect that actually takes homeless from downtown to other areas for the night. Just before sundown, two school buses parked near Friendship Park north of downtown Sacramento. And on cue, Dozens of homeless people filed onto buses with their sleeping bags for a ride to a church in Fair Oaks. Miguel Alvarez says it's a lifesaver. I think it's good that they open up their doors and say, hey, here's a place to, where you can stay and, and get out of the weather. Alvarez said he's been on the streets before during freezing conditions and he wasn't going to miss this bus. It was like 20 degrees and it was it was horrible. It felt like the wind was just stabbing me with needles. It was it was pretty bad. The program, partially funded by tax dollars, rotates through churches across Sacramento County, utilizing parish halls and different groups of volunteers. Bo Reed helps organize the shelter runs. It's cold, so this helps because we get to keep people off. Um, off the street, off the river. Reed says they transport as many as 100 people. The colder it gets, the more homeless they take in. When it's cold, um, well, our numbers go up for sure. The people never know exactly where they will spend the night, but after getting a warm meal and some shut eye, they're bused back to downtown around sunrise, just as temperatures start to warm back up. To be able to get out the weather and have like a sigh of relief is. It, it, it's really heartfelt. It's really warming to see that people actually care about us and value us as people. Now, the program is being duplicated in other counties. Some of the homeless people told me tonight that even though they don't know exactly where they're going to end up for the night, they'd rather be bused somewhere and stay indoors than be camping out along the river. Reporting live from Sacramento, Kevin Oliver, KCRA 3 News. Well, Kevin, seems like a good program. Is there anyone that they won't take? They do screen all the people that they do take on these buses. Uh, the only people that they won't take are registered sex offenders and homeless with pets. Those They can't take the pets inside a lot of those shelters. And a lot of those churches uh, you have daycares, and so they can't have sex offenders uh, spending the night there either. Okay, Kevin, thank you. And in the freezing weather, there are some things.